another bird. Here we have a, a siskin. Female siskin, which has been feeding on my feeders for several weeks now in quite good numbers. They're now returning um, to breed. They're one of the earlier birds that come back and will be starting to breed very soon. Hi, I'm Ian Henshaw. I work at the Swedish Bird Ring Centre at the Natural History Museum in Stockholm. There we go. For most small birds, we catch them in what they call mist nets, which are fine mesh nets, which the birds have difficulty to see if there's a good background behind the net. So they then just fly into the net and sort of go down in a sort of pocket and just sit there until we come along and take them out. But it, does it get hurt in the in the net somehow? No, they just get caught up in the net. They sort of, let's have a see. The, the way it works is, it looks just like a, a wall, if you like, flat. But when a bird goes in, it goes like that. So it sort of sits in a pocket. So that way it sort of gets caught in the net and it will get a bit tangled around the head and the wings. But that's quite easy to take off if you know how to do it. So if it just flew in and just caught like that, it wouldn't be very effective. So this way is, it's, it's much better. The birds get stuck in the net so we can have much better success catching and ringing them. So next important step is to put it in a bag so it can be calm. Ringing has been going on now um, for more than a hundred years um, in Sweden and throughout the world. And mist nets have been used since the 1960s. And there's generally very few uh, birds get hurt, very few. Um, if, if you know how to, how to take the bird out, it takes time to learn how to do it properly in a safe way. So if you have people who are trained and have the techniques and skills to do it, it it's very quick and the birds, the birds don't get hurt. So, then we'll go on to the next one.